Jackie will now explain how to create a lesson plan. You can reference pages one and two of the pre-student teaching template to see where the lesson plan information will be entered. You will use the pre-student teaching template for your assignment that will be graded by your instructor for pre-student teaching. It will include the lesson plan that you'll be teaching and a self-evaluation. To begin, fill in your name and the date that you taught the lesson. If you're a project teaching student, you'll enter your subject area and then choose either K through 8 or 9 through 12 for the grade level of the lesson that was taught. If you're a 10 sped student, you'll check either early childhood or cross categorical, depending on the certification you're working towards. Then you'll check the age level of the lesson you'll be completing for the pre student teaching. You will then fill in each part of the lesson plan on the template. The parts of the lesson plan will be described next. The Learning Segment Central Focus and Purpose is a short-term learner outcome that is achieved over time by meeting related lesson objectives. This is the outcome of the entire learning segment. In determining the central focus and purpose, Think about what the learner should know or be able to do by the end of three to five lessons. Should he be able to use context clues to determine the meanings of unknown multisyllabic words? Should she be able to determine criteria for evaluating a piece of artwork? These are examples of a learning segment central focus and purpose. The lesson plan number simply indicates where the lesson falls in the segment of lessons that is being taught. The lesson plan title should indicate what skills and or knowledge the lesson is teaching. In the content standards section of the template, you will record the standards that the lesson aligns with and supports. Typically, this standard or set of standards will come from the Wisconsin State Standards. However, the standards should come from whichever standards the district in which the pre-student teaching is being done uses. This could include the Common Core Standards or other subject-specific standards in addition to or in lieu of the Wisconsin State Standards. The lesson objective should clearly state what students will know or be able to do as a result of the lesson. When writing your objectives, be sure they're written in measurable terms. For instance, an objective should not state that a student will understand a piece of knowledge or a concept. Think about how the student will demonstrate his or her understanding in order to make your lesson objective measurable. For assessments, think about and record the formative and summative assessments that will be used to measure learning at the end and during the lesson. Good lessons have a combination of both formative and summative assessments. Your success criteria for your assessments must be measurable and should directly align with your lesson objectives. Slides number eight through 14 cover the lesson plan sections on page two of the pre-student teaching template. The student learning targets are the learning objectives written in student-friendly language. Enlisting the prerequisite skills and knowledge for the lesson, think about what skills or knowledge the student should already possess in order to have success with your lesson. Also, think about and list any baseline data that you have collected that helps to understand the current skill and knowledge levels of your students. In the Instructional Strategies section, you will record any evidence-based instructional strategies that are used in the lesson. For example, the gradual release of responsibility is an instructional strategy that you may choose to use in your lesson plan. In the learning tasks and timelines section of the template, include everything you and the learners will do from the beginning to the end of the lesson. Include approximate timelines for each activity in the lesson. 
It may be helpful to think about this section as what you would hand to a substitute teacher to teach from. Plan supports are specific supports that you will provide during the lesson to support different levels of learners. Accommodations will not alter or lower expectations, standards, or content of the lesson. They may change how the students engage or interact within the lesson or how students are supported. Some examples of accommodations are extended time, an alternate seating placement or location, or the use of assistive technology. Modifications are those changes that are made to the learning objectives or the content in order to meet the specific needs of diverse learners. Some examples of modifications would be a reduction or an increase in the complexity of a task within the lesson. The academic vocabulary section should contain the content-specific terminology or vocabulary that students will need to know in order to have success with your lesson. You may also include specific ways that students will need to use this academic language to participate in the learning tasks as well as demonstrate their learning during the lesson. In the Instructional Resources and Materials section, you will list all of the resources that you and the learners will need to be successful with the lesson. Some examples of instructional resources and materials are mini whiteboards, leveled articles, flashcards, manipulatives, and videos. In the Adjustments to Teaching section, general thoughts about what might be done differently next time the lesson is taught should be recorded. Great teachers are reflective. It's important to think about what went well in the lesson and what could have gone better, and how to make adjustments to the lesson to optimize students' success and learning. Please contact us at any time with questions.